We arrived at the permission at the break of dawn and we're here to hunt squirrels. Now the grey squirrel is an invasive species to the UK and it is essential that we try and get rid of as many as possible. The reason for this is because they kill the native red squirrel. So today we're going to hunt some feeders we set up. We've been feeding them consistently for a few weeks now and hopefully they'll congregate around the feeders. But at first before any hunting gets underway we have to zero our rifles. My shots are going a bit low and right, so I'm going to correct it a bit to go up and left. So I should go three clicks up and three clicks to the left should do it. Right now that's spot on, that's dead in the center, so that's perfect, that's all we need, 25 meters. Once our rifles are zeroed, there's only one more thing to do, and that's getting our amber spots. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna take different ranges from the area. So I know my feeder is at 25 yards, but if a squirrel comes from further away, I don't wanna take my range finder, range it, and then have a chance of losing it, because sometimes they don't hang around for very long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just range the end of that wall. So that's 30 yards. Then I'm gonna range the tree at the very back That's 40 yards. So I've got 25, 30, and 40. Now I'm gonna range the little trees just, just behind the feeder. So they're at 27 yards. So now I have quite a good understanding of the ranges around my area, and I won't need to try and look for my range find when an animal comes in, because they're not always gonna be in perfect situations, but it heavily helps to have one of these and take ranges beforehand. So, I took my ranges and I'm just going to wait here for a little while. When I first got here, there was some squirrels calling behind. I could hear them barking in the woods. So I really hope one just comes to the feeder and takes a nibble. Let's see what happens. And it wasn't long before I see a squirrel perched on the tree just to my left. I just had a squirrel come in about 10 yards here and I didn't want to take the shot because it just wasn't a good shot it was covered up in the pines so I let him go but now I'm just hoping he comes back he ran down that way so what I'm hoping he does he circles around and comes back to the feeder and I can get a proper shot off him without, without the risk of wounding him but yeah fingers crossed <laughs> Hear the squirrels barking right behind me. And that all the forest they hear bark, 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 bark. So they have to be around here somewhere. I've seen some movement in the distance, but nothing in, in range. And except the one that's 10 yards, but he was way covered up. Hopefully, hopefully I get one. And finally, I notice a squirrel in the distance.
it's down. So this guy came in, came in at about 30 yards just from the wood behind me. He ran straight into the road and he just kind of stopped there. Clean headshot, didn't know it hit him, flipped over and it was dead instantly. Even though these animals are invasive, I still have a tremendous amount of respect for them. They, they pose a challenge, I'll give you that. And it gave its life to feed me, so I still respect it as I would respect any other quarry. So now I'm just gonna give him a last meal. It's a little tradition to send him on this journey. There. But yeah, let's get back into the into the spot and uh, see if we can get another one. I wait for a few more hours to no avail. So now it's time to pack up my squirrel and go clean the animal. So before I get cleaning it, I just want to point out a few things. One, you're going to want gloves. Some people don't use them, but they are wild animals at the end of the day, and you don't know what's inside, parasites and all sorts of things. So get yourself a pair of gloves. doesn't do any harm, but it might protect you. Two, what really helps is a sharp knife. Get yourself a whetstone or a grinder and just really grind it out before you go hunting. It will make your life so much easier to have a sharp knife. So squirrels are pretty tough. They have quite tough skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skin him in half, pretty much. So I'm going to make an incision here, cut around the skin here, and grip both ends, and just pull them apart half and half. So to start, I'm going to make an incision about midway with my knife. Okay, so now I've made an incision here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my knife, and I'm going to start cutting around around the squirrel now I've just got this last bit and there we have it so now I'm going to grab I'm just going to start pulling You might want to cut off the legs, it'll make your life a bit easier. It's one leg. Two leg. Tails come off. Because now the stomach split anyway. I'm just going to continue. This happens sometimes, the guts just kind of come out by accident, so don't worry about it. Just, you can just come and rip them out such see that so that's the liver right there it's quite clean what you want to look for is parasites or dots in the liver but nah his liver is pristine I'm gonna cut the paws off Finally, one leg off, flip him over. Once you get your finger in there, pull. No, the head's kind of finished off there. So. And you get your knife, you can cut that off. So that's half of it done. It's a lot of effort for one squirrel. <laughs> it's now the bottom. You're gonna start to rip it. Your finger in there, go, and you just rip. Leg comes off like that. Second side, exactly the same thing. So, that's the second part of the skin done. So, now if you're in the field, 
you have yourself a squirrel now you can go rinse it i'm going to go rinse this off come back to you when it's rinsed so now that's a dressed squirrel so you see that's all fat i'm going to go and freeze him so he's coming home today so the squirrel wasn't frozen for very long so we went out a few days later cooked him over a fire If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe for more content coming up like this. But for now, take care guys and I'll see you in the next one.